Greetings, mortals, and welcome. I am Aura Dormi, chronicler of the Bronze Dragonflight, and today we're going to be exploring the rich, expansive story of Azeroth. Why? It's simple, really. To understand Azeroth and your place in it, you have to go back to the beginning. So, we're going to go back. Way back. Back to the beginning of things. Back to beyond history. During the age of the World Shapers. 147,000 years ago, the beings we know as the Titans emerged as World Shapers, bringing order out of chaos. Their leader was Amonzul, the High Father, and he had several siblings. Aenar the Lifebinder, Norganon the Dreamweaver, Kazgoroth the Shaper, Golganeth the Thunderer, Agrimar the Avenger, and Sardras, Champion of the Titans. The Titans, or Pantheon as they came to be called, crossed the universe and molded every planet they came across. Wherever they passed, they left behind guardians, constructs with a single purpose, to maintain the order of the world they were assigned. And it was during this time that the Titans first encountered the beings of the Burning Legion. Sargeras, champion of the Titans, created legions to help him fight the Demon Horde, but was, over the centuries, corrupted by them, and eventually turned against the Pantheon, resulting in his banishment to the Twisting Nether. It was also during this time that the Titans, minus Sargeras, discovered Azeroth. Azeroth was home to beings known as the Old Gods, and the surface of the planet was inhabited by the Elementals, led by the four Elemental Lords, who worshipped the Old Gods and served them as generals. There were Ragnaros, the Fire Lord, Therizane, the Earth Mother, Neptulon, the Tide Hunter, and Alakir of the Four Winds. The Titans came to Azeroth and saw the chaos and in their quest to restore order to the universe, smashed the ancient citadels of the old gods and banished the elemental lords to the abyssal plane. With the citadels of the old gods broken and their generals trapped, the old gods could not fight the collective might of the titans and were imprisoned. They were imprisoned within the heart of the world, and with the old gods safely contained for now, the titans could bring order to Azeroth. However, the Titans could not do this alone, and so they created the Earthing, small creatures of stone, and the Sea Giants, gentle creatures of the waves, to help the Titans carve out a single, perfect continent that the Titans named Kalimor. And in the middle of this perfect continent, the Titans placed a scintillating, swirling pool that would be the font of all life on Azeroth. This pool came to be known as the Well of Eternity. This world-shaping process took the Titans and their servants 82,000 years. And when they were finally complete, the Titans created the Dragonflights. The Titans, impressed by five particular protodrakes, native creatures of Azeroth who defeated Galakron, who threatened to wipe out their race. Each of these five was granted unimaginable power by one of the Titans. To Nosdormu, Amon Thol gave the gift of time. He was charged with guarding over time itself and policing the ever-spinning pathways of fate and destiny, and thus was born the Bronze Dragonflight. To Alexstrasza, Aonar blessed with the gift of life, granting her dominion over all living things on Azeroth and thus was born the Red Dragonflight. To Isera, also blessed by Aenar, was given the gift of the wilds and nature, and tasked with guardianship of the wild places of the earth from her realm of the Emerald Dream, and thus was created the Green Dragonflight. Norganon gifted wise Malagos with supreme magical might, making him the guardian of magic and of hidden arcanum, and thus was born 
the blue dragon's light, and to great Nelfarian, Kazgaroth, the great shaper, gave him dominion over the earth and the deep places, and thus was born the black dragon's light. Their work done, the titans left Azeroth then, its guardians and protectors in place for all eternity. For 40,000 years there was peace on Azeroth, but not all worlds shaped by titanic hands were so fortunate. But that is a story for another time.